Hello everyone, welcome back to Ayastech. We are diving into another exhilarating unscripted coding session today. That's right, no plans, just pure raw coding fueled by AI driven suggestions of chat GPT. It's about pushing boundaries and exploring what can be achieved when humans and AI collaborate in the realm of coding. Our project of our today is Quiz App. We will create a simple application that offers multiple choice questions and scores you at the end. This is not just any coding session, this is an experimental foray into the world of AI assisted coding. We will be using ReactJS and Tailwind CSS and all the code for today will be guided by ChatGPT. And stick around till the end because we are going to do a quick code review to understand the nuts and bolts of what we just built. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Alright, this is my basic React JS application that has the Tailwind CSS configured. It is currently running in my browser. So let's open ChatGPT and here I will ask it that I need you to write code to build a quiz app that is fully functional, professional, modern, and user friendly. The UI should look completed, professional, attractive, and modern. Provide me all of the code uh, without skipping anything okay also will the quiz app with tailwind css and react js so sometimes our prompt is not perfect that's why we may not get the uh, perfect results so in that case we can ask chat gpt to create that prompt for us then it will do that so let's cut it and i will tell it optimize the following prompt so that i could get best outcome from chat gpt okay so it will optimize my prompt and then I will use that prompt to ask ChatGPT. So this is the well-structured prompt that we should type. So it is saying that certainly optimizing your, optimizing your prompt can help you to get more specific detailed results. And here is a res revised version of your prompt. Could you please write a comprehensive, fully, fully functional quiz application using React.js and Tailwind CSS? The app should include the following features. Okay, nice. Multiple choices question with your uh, with four options each. A pro progress bar to indicate how far the user is in the quiz. A scoring system that tracks correct answers. A visually appealing user interface that is professional, modern, and user friendly. Please provide the complete source code ensuring the nothing is uh, omitted. I would like to code to be well organized and include comments for easy understanding. Excellent. So it has optimized our prompt. Now I can copy this prompt and I can use it to generate the actual code. So either you should write the right, uh, perfect prompt or you can ask ChatGPT to create a prompt for you. So this is very nice feature. So it has started to generate something. Certainly below is a simplified React.js Tailwind CSS quiz application that meets our requirement. This example will provide you with a strong foundation that you can extend as needed. So it has uh, created React project. Now create a file called quiz data. And okay, this is our database. And here is the code for the quiz application and this is the css and then to finish you will need to include the tailwind css classes in your react app open your source.index.js and 
add the following to the top i think we don't need to do that and don't forget to import the styles in the app.js so let's see what it has made for us so i'm going to copy this and let's create the file here app.js oh sorry app data.js and paste it here and now i will replace the app component code with this one uh what is that error cannot resolve the quiz data quiz actually it is not app data it is the quiz data okay now the software is running and also we need to copy paste this style in the index.css here all right this is the quiz app that it just has made for us so let's select an incorrect answer what is the capital of france select berlin actually nothing is happening so let me look at the uh, once i refresh it so from scratch the score is zero if you click on any of these answers nothing will happen but if you click on the paris then it will show the show you the score zero okay so i can tell uh, give my feedback to chat gpt that when i click on the wrong answer so le yes let me tell it that it is not user friendly okay good start but uh it is not so much user friendly and it has some issues as well first when i click on incorrect answer uh incorrect question nothing happens also the progress bar is not does not seem to be working and after that okay let's try that one first also provide me more questions to put in the data file So feedback on incorrect answers. We can add simple feedback system that informs the user whether they are selected the correct answer or not. Progress bar. The progress bar will be adjusted uh, to properly reflect the quiz progress. Additionally, the uh, additional questions. Okay, it has given us additional question. Let me replace the quiz data here with this. and it is updating the app.js code okay reload it uh strange the progress bar does not look correct but let's try i am going to click incorrect answer okay when i select incorrect then it will go to the next one and if i select this is correct now i have one score if i select this one okay we have 75% but it obviously the progress bar does not look correct correct okay so it has several issues like uh, uh, when the quiz is uh, completed then it should let me open the yeah so it should uh, show you that the uh, 
quiz is completed and it should show some kind of message instead of showing this the last question forever also the progress bar is not looking correct so let's tell chat about that there is bug in progress bar also progress bar does not look good also when uh, is is done then something interesting should happen to make it more user friendly okay so to make the progress bar more visually appealing we can add rounded corners better coloring and height a completion event once quiz is completed a summary screen would be shown displaying the user's score and a restart button so let's copy paste this code in the styles file okay still the progress bar does not look good Let me update the app.js file. So it is saying that I apologize for the oversight. The dip, the discrepancy is due to how the progress percentage is calculated and displayed. The green fill should be based on the current question, while the percentage displayed should also count for the current question. Let's correct this. Update the progress bar section in the app.js. Okay, uh, I I would prefer it to give me the entire code instead of fixing it myself provide me entire code for the app.js without skipping anything all right now let's replace it again uh, it is still stuck at 25 percent that does not look good i guess i think it is fine or not
all right with this correction the progress bar should now start at zero percent when you begin the quiz and will correctly reflect the progress as you answer the question upon restarting it will all reset to zero so let's try that okay uh okay this one is correct incorrect correct okay the quiz is completed the your score is to restart the quiz yes that looks more professional now but still the ui uh, of the app does not look good overall it does not look uh, uh production ready application so let's ask chat gpt about that everything worked well but one thing the overall ui is not uh, attractive and modern it should be very attractive and should look very professional and completed ui ready for production improve the ui and provide me the code Okay, let's see what it has made for us. So I'm going to replace it again. Okay, uh, but still I don't like it, the background gray color. Also, I guess the zero percentage should not be shown if uh, nothing is happening yet. okay let's try it again okay so this progress bar is still not looking good in so i am telling it that progress bar is kind of broken percentage is overflowing vertically and other than that uh 
give it i want to try a different style so this is still not good for me Okay, now try it again. All right, so now it looks much more interesting. Excellent. Yeah, this looks interesting. Uh, although there is one issue that on zero percent i can see uh, an empty placeholder for the percentage text Okay, let's try to modify the percentage. So, okay, actually this is the part that is showing the percentage. So I'm going to replace it. Okay, refresh it. Now I think everything is fine. So if you select an incorrect, then it will show the, I mean, if it is correct or incorrect, in both cases, it will uh, keep increasing the percentage and at the end let's see what it shows so this is how it will tell you that how it is how you did in this quiz so i think that's it what we wanted to achieve in this so far so now last thing that we want to do is that we will review the code really quick just to see what we have done with the help of chat gpt we have this quiz data file that uh, contains four questions in it and every question has four options in the array and we have the correct answer as well that it will use to verify if it is correct or not so now in the app.js we have uh, four states actually yeah four states current question it will tell you the index of the current question from the array and it will tell us the score what is the current score it will show us the feedback and this is the set quiz quiz finished so this is basically a boolean so it will tell us that if it is finished or not now next we have a function handle answer option click so when we click on any option this function would be executed and this is the restart quiz function that will reset the states to the default values and if we look into this code uh, we are checking if answer is equal to quiz data and we're giving it the index and we if we're checking that if it is a correct answer then 
run this logic in this logic we will increment the score from uh, by one and uh, we'll show a feedback that it is correct and if it is not correct then we will show a feedback incorrect and we are checking that if next question so here we are basically uh, incrementing the next question number so every time this function is executed it will add plus one to the current question so and next question we will check that if it is less than the total questions uh, then that mean uh, there are still questions uh, pending that we need to complete and we will start a set timeout of one second and we are setting the current question to this next question index and then we will uh, remove the feedback as well after one second and then if uh, it is uh, next question is not less than total question that's mean it is the last question that just completed so we will uh, show a success message uh, uh, with the help of quiz finished uh, by setting the value true of this variable after one second and here we are calculating the progress with the help of current question and total questions we are dividing this with this and multiplying it with 100 to get the percentage and then we have the html that we are using with the help of tailwind css classes that you can see here and we are checking that if quiz is not finished then show this part but if it is finished then show this part so if it is fin uh, it is not finished then we will show this section this section is basically uh, showing the progress bar here and uh, this uh, so this is all about the progress bar and this is the heading where we are showing the question and here the in this section we will show the feedback if it is correct or incorrect and here uh, we will display all of the options of the current question and we are calling a function if user clicks on any of those, those options and if your quiz is completed then we will show this section where we have a heading quiz completed and here we will be showing the score and here we show a button that will restart the quiz if user clicks on that all right that's it we have come to end to this raw and experimental coding session and what have we got a fully functional quiz app built from the ground up with the code suggested by chat gpt was not that a right as promised we did a quick code review to make sure we understand what's happening under the hood it's not just about building it's about learning and understanding and i hope that this session gave you both if you enjoyed this unscripted adventure into ai assisted coding hit that like button and consider subscribing for more such content your support makes all the differences so until next time this is ayaz tech signing off keep pushing boundaries keep coding and always keep that curiosity alive